What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and I think I might have three videos today. I also did three yesterday, so if you're just getting back after the holiday, you have plenty of videos to get you through the day. And then, as always, I really appreciate the viewers who enjoy the videos. Just dropping a like on it and leaving a comment if they can. It helps the channel a lot. I know I upload a lot, so notifications are just kind of not a thing for me. Um, it relies on people uh, interacting with the videos. Now, some new leaks from the Witcher TV show are pretty hilarious. Now, we've been following this, uh, what is sure to be a train wreck, at least in my opinion. Hopefully it isn't. Hopefully it isn't. But there's a reason that there's the Netflix adaptation meme where, you know, once it hits Netflix, it's unrecognizable. You know, some, some of my favorites are obviously you have the manga, the anime, and then the Netflix adaptation. You know, you have all sorts of uh, hilarity. We saw the cast or the writing team behind the Witcher TV series. They are extraordinarily woke, which in general is fine. Uh, it's just that we know that it's not always related, but it always seems like the woke brigade are the ones that uh, <laughs> end up meddling a little bit too much. They force uh, a little bit too much. We saw around the original casting where they wanted to cast uh, some different people for different roles that would not have been true to the lore. Uh, particularly if I remember Yennefer, uh, it was a mess. Of course, they have all this cringeworthy stuff going on, and that's fine. Um, when they finally did cast Siri and Yennefer, there was some initial backlash, but for the most part, everyone has pretty much calmed down with it, obviously. We know that the casting of Henry Cavill, people are cautious about it, I think. It's it's you know him playing Geralt. I, I don't know. Um, I think he's got the range. I don't know if he's going to have the look. That's the problem when you have kind of this look in your mind from the video game. It's going to be interesting. And for those of you that have followed me, uh, you know that I just finally started playing it after all these years. I bought this like three years ago, um, finally playing it. Rest in pepperonis, my free time. But I'm actually trying to get wound up for it uh, because there is some leaks around the release date um, being potentially December 20th possible release date for the Witcher Netflix series has leaked online as well as some hilarious costumes that basically make uh, the Nilfgaarden armor look like scrotums. I'm not sure what they have going on there, but it's we're going to take a look at that too. Um, last year, Netflix announced the Witcher TV series was actually happening, revealing a short trailer showcasing Henry Cavill as a seasoned monster hunter. While I keep my own opinions of the Man of Steel playing Geralt to myself, at the time, new rumors have now leaked the release date, which uh, appears to be December 20th, 2019. So about six, seven months from now, it'll be interesting. Um, when you have this kind of full season release at once, it's hard to um, build. And it, and, and it kind of it's like a lot of hype in a really short period of time. So it's either going to be a really awesome week for Witcher fans, or it's going to be a hilarious week. Either way, I'll be here, hopefully, to catalog all that. Now, this morning, some leaked footage of extras, raw video, actors wearing the infamous black armor has surfaced on YouTube. That's right. And just to give you an idea of what it should look like is this, okay? So you would think for TV, you know, they're going to do something close to that. Well, uh, actually, no. Um, they look like, I don't know. Uh, oh, they took it down. They took it down. Well, now I know it's real for sure. They wouldn't have taken it down if it wasn't real. Uh, this is what we have. What? They look, they look like scary like scrotes i mean you have like they look cheap now of course they'll add some cg to this i i assume but they look ridiculous um 
again, this is, they don't even have like the high shoulders. They don't have any of the, I mean, the ribbing that they don't have the big insignia here. They have a small one. They have a small knight symbol here on that one. This one's a little more pronounced. You can see the same kind of star symbol, but wow, it looks super bad. So with the release of Netflix Witcher series slowly but surely approaching, leaked footage of what is purportedly actors wearing Nilfgaard in armor has appeared on the Rendinian Intelligence, a YouTube channel. The video doesn't reveal anything about the story or surprise cameo appearances. It's mainly just actors goofing around off camera. But the armor is really something to see. Comments on YouTube and Reset Era are not entirely positive with the armor's appearance. One described it as homemade hockey gear, while another likened it to generic Mordor, and a third said the actors wearing it looked like Power Ranger mooks. The particularly one particularly silver-tongued observer described it looking at ball sacks with swords. <laughs> Yeah, okay, which is fair. But Cooler Heads pointed out, when you see in these clips, almost certainly not what you'll see on film. Between post-production effects and the inherent changes wrought by the camera, what you will see in the Netflix series probably isn't going to look quite like this. Even if the armor is interesting to see, even so the armor is interesting to see, it's so completely different than these Nilfgaardian armor in the Witcher games, particularly Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, in which a powerful empire invades the Northern Kingdoms. The color is correct. Um, their Nilf gardens are colloquially known as the black ones and insignia fits, but otherwise it's not even remotely similar. It's possible that this armor is being worn by some faction, um, that we haven't run into yet, or that the weird design is intended to facilitate some weird post-production CG effect. Although I don't think that's very likely, whatever it turns out to be. And yes, it's possible that they just look cheap and terrible. I imagine we'll get proper look at them fairly soon. The Witcher on Netflix is expected to deb debut later this year. See, I don't think when you look at this, you know, I, I don't think that they're going to add too much with CG. And generally, you would see like, you know, green stuff if they're going to chroma key anything out. You can actually see the straps under the arms here. Um, it does look very cheap and plastic. Now, obviously, with a full cinematic lens and everything like that, it, it looks it'll look better. But you know, even the helmets look kind of ridiculous. Uh, you know, overall, I'm not sure that they're going to be able to improve this. Now, it is fair to say or to bring up like this isn't a Marvel movie budget. It's Netflix. Uh, so they aren't going to have the budget otherwise, but they could have done something closer to this. You know, maybe there's some piece of armor like this that goes over the top. That's one thing I was thinking. Maybe like if you look at this picture, uh, the stills, maybe there's something that goes. I don't know. It, I, it seems unlikely because they have the shoulder armor um, separate. It's already on, so it seems unlikely that something will go over the top. But they have kind of the clothing, right? The stripes. That's there. Uh, but they don't have it on the arms. I mean, is it supposed to be exactly the same? Well, probably not. But I think it's pretty hilarious just how bad it really is. In the absence of any real details about The Witcher Netflix show, fans have taken a leaked set of photos for answers. The Witcher Netflix series fan site has once again shared unofficial photos from the show's set. This time, leaked photos bring us the first look at the designs for the Nilfgaardian armor. As you're about to see, they look quite different than what we're used to seeing in the games. While it's true that Netflix show will be inspired by the book more than the games, many assume Netflix will bring some of the designs to the game to life or improve on them. Well, that's not what Netflix does. They never improve on anything. Uh, look what happened to Black Mirror once they took over. Uh, though the show's Nilfgaardians uh, retain the black overall look and yellow insignia, the armor looks a lot less lavish. In fact, it looks as if it's missing crucial armor pieces. This may be something that's going to be fixed in post-production and CG, but these raw photo photos are not flat flattering. I don't think they're going to have a huge CG budget. Um, it's, it's unlikely. Um, I'm not going to rubbish potentially great TV show of the books because the armor doesn't look good in the game in the books they look like crusty garbage bags 
This is why every time I read Netflix, I walk away and look back. I never look back. Best case scenario, this is just mock-up armor they're using for stuntmen. Practice and doesn't reflect what will actually look on screen. Yeah, that would be one thing. That, that would be interesting for stuntmen. That is a, a fair theory, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. When you build in the fact that Netflix doesn't have a great history of bringing things to light, and when you build in the fact that um, they've already struck down the video, it seems unlikely that these are not correct, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. <sighs> Witcher fans, I'm not, I'm not optimistic for you, but hey, maybe, maybe it'll be okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.